they might not want to cook the rest of the year. Somebody say amen. amen. And we're not going to stop the praise. So musicians, stay with me. Galatians 6, verse 9. One passage. It's very familiar. And I want to bring this especially for a pastor. Since it is also celebrating his birthday. This is the season of his birthday. Amen. Amen. But I want to encourage him and I want to encourage new dimensions. Listen. I, mean, I want to let you know that you are in the beginning stages of your miracle. Both as a church and as an individual. And, ooh, I don't know who's I don't know who's already started get gathering the boxes you're trying to move. I don't know who's already started gathering their boxes. You don't even know where you're going, but you just started gathering the boxes. You will know within two months' time. I don't know who you are, but you're gathering your boxes already. And you will know. And it won't let me tell you something. It won't be in a it won't be in a neighborhood that you just gotta make it do in, but it's gonna be where you want to go. been running in your family, but it stops at you. I don't know what it is, I don't know who it is, but it stops at you. Galatians 6 and 9, and be not, let us not be weary in well-doing. For in due season, we shall reap if we faint not. Turn to the one next to you and say, don't let weariness stop your due season. Amen, amen, amen. Somebody ought to shout right there. Because you've been going through, you've been tired in your spirit, you've been tired in your body, to both have got on your last nerve, and both of the judges have got on your last nerve. Amen. You may you your home and both have to pray at home. Your mother had to pray the kids had to pray the dog had to pray the cat had to pray You went there. It was hot yesterday and the AC didn't turn on. But don't do that away. Only God can 
give us the strength to overcome weariness. And if only God can give us the strength to move forward. Amen. Listen, I don't listen. Why is it that when things get rough in the church, folks decide to leave? When things get rough in your job, you, you're not going to quit that job. Amen. Amen. You're not going to give up that job because the job pays you. But when things get rough, they say when the going gets rough, the tough, well, they get going. But it, what it doesn't tell us is that the tough get going outside, they leave. But God wants you to hold on. Stay in there. Stay in the fight. Stay in the race. Don't walk out because there's a blessing on the other side of your through. Amen. There's a miracle with your name on it. Amen. The Bible says if you want to reign with him, you've got to suffer through some things. You've got to endure hardness as a good soldier. But I want to let you know that payday is coming after a while. Listen, you look for help in there, don't run around. You ever been there? I mean, you know, you've been with you've been there with some other folks. But then when you need something, you can't get up. You can't get nobody to answer the phone. They won't call you back. They can't help you. I'm still going to move forward. I'm not going to let it. 